Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over long division with polynomials. In long division with polynomials, all there really is, is you're dividing one polynomial by another one. So let's do an example. We have x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5 over x minus 2. In this case, you're dividing the numerator by the denominator. So you'd set it up just like you would any long division problem. The numerator goes on the inside, so that's x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. And the denominator goes on the outside, x minus 2. So now, what do we need to multiply x by to get to x cubed? Well x cubed is just x times x times x. We have 1x, so we need to multiply that by x times x, which is x squared. So we're going to write x squared on top. And I'm just going to align it with the same degree, so x squared goes on top of x squared. So next, we're going to take this and multiply that by the entire quantity here. So we have x squared times x that gives us x cubed, x squared times negative 2, which is negative 2x squared. Now we have to subtract this entire quantity from the top. So it's better to put a parenthesis around it so we, didn't, we don't miss the signs or mess anything up. If we chose the right term here and if we multiplied correctly, the first term should always cancel. That cancels. Next we have negative 4x squared minus negative 2x squared, which is negative 2x squared. And I'm going to bring this entire rest of the original numerator down. So that's going to be plus 2x plus 5. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did for the top what times x gives me negative 2x squared? Well, that's just negative 2x. So negative 2x times x minus 2, that's negative 2x squared, negative 2x times negative 2, that's plus 4x. And once again, put a parenthesis around this entire quantity so we don't get confused with the signs and then subtract. Just like before, the first term cancels, negative 2x squared minus negative 2x squared. Then we have 2x minus 4x, which is negative 2x, and the 5x just, and the 5, excuse me, just comes down, plus 5. Once again, what times x uh, gives me negative 2x? x times negative 2 gives me negative 2x. So write the negative 2 over here. Negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's plus 4. And subtract this entire quantity from the top. So we get the first ones to cancel. 5 minus 4, that's just 1. And at this point, if you, if you see that 1 has a lower degree than x, so we can't divide anymore. So this right here is our remainder. So if we were to write the final answer, we would write it as x squared minus 2x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2. And the x minus 2 just comes from the, num uh, the denominator or what we divided by. Let's do another example. In this case we have 3x cubed plus 4x plus 11 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. So we're going to do exactly what we did last time. 
the numerator goes inside and the denominator goes outside. But in this case, notice that we have x cubed and then we have 4x. We have the x squared term missing. But when we're going to write it inside for the division part, you want to write the x squared term. You just have to put a zero coefficient with it. So 3x three, three cubed plus 0x squared plus 4x plus 11. And the denominator still just comes outside. x squared minus 3x plus 2. From this point on, we can do the exact same thing we did last time. What times x squared gives us 3x cubed? Well, that's just 3x. So we're going to go ahead and multiply this entire quantity by 3x. 3x times x squared, that's 3x cubed. 3x times negative 3x, that's negative 9x squared, 3x times 2, that's plus 6x. And once again, we're subtracting this entire quantity from the top. So once again, if we chose the right if we chose the right term here and we multiplied correctly, the first term should cancel. 3x cubed minus 3x cubed, and indeed that does cancel. Next we have 0x squared minus negative 9x squared, so that's just positive 9x squared. 4x minus 6x, that's negative 2x. And once again, just bring the rest of the numerator down. just plus 11. We're going to repeat what we did for the top. What times x squared gives us 9x squared? That's just a plus 9. 9 times x squared is 9x squared. 9 times negative 3x is negative 27x. 9 times 2 is 18. Put a parenthesis around this entire quantity, subtract from the top. The first term cancels. Negative 2x minus negative 27x, that's 25x. 11 minus 18, that's minus 7. That's a minus sign, by the way. And in this case, notice that we have x squared and we have an x term here. The degree here is greater than the degree here, so we can't divide anymore. So this entire quantity is our remainder. And if we want to write the answer now, we have 3x plus 9 plus 25x minus 7 over the denominator or what we divided by so that's just x squared minus 3x plus 2 and that is the final answer for this problem hopefully that helped and made it uh, made long division a bit simpler if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment below if you haven't already subscribe do some practice and it should be fine best of luck Take care and I'll see you guys next time.